Hello, this is Steve Olson for It's a CAD World. In this iLogic video, what we're going to look at is the ability to have uh, iLogic read and write Excel files. The scenario that I've worked up for this example is that I work for a company that makes railings, that you may have seen this example before, and that uh, a salesman fills out a form of, uh, of a railing that he has sold, and then uh, once we uh, have that information, we can have iLogic read that information into the file and build our model off of that. So let's take a look at this in action. So first thing I have is I have this order forms folder here and I have this order form uh, Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to make a copy of this and I'm going to append a job number on the end of this. Let's call this um, 1234 go ahead and open up this Excel file so we can see what we're looking at. Okay. So you can see that basically the, the salesman or whoever's filling this out would have to key in a rail length, rail height, uh, the number of intermediate posts, and a paint color. Let's go ahead and I'm going to fill this information in. And then the paint color, let's go with black. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file. I'm going to close this then, and then I'm going to minimize that file. Actually, also, it's going to be also important to note that on my form or on this file, I have an order number field that the that the person the, the user here can fill that out, and we're going to utilize that to know which Excel spreadsheet to be read. So I'm going to create the rule here. Call it read Excel. First thing I'm going to do is specify the Excel file that we're going to read. I'm going to append the custom property of order number. Dot X L S X. So the next thing I need to do is essentially read into my parameters certain cells from the Excel file. So go to my user parameters here, and you can see they're listed here. I'm just going to read them in order. So rail length equals, I'll come over here to my Excel data link section and get my cell value. You'll see here that it asks for the file name of the Excel file to read. I already have that as a variable, so I'm going to just type in Excel file. And the rail length is actually cell B3. So then I'll need to read in the rail height. Since the first one actually establishes what Excel file I'm reading, this time I don't necessarily have to do that. I can just tell it that I'm going to read the current. Excel file. So I just need to give it Excel addresses for rail height, number of intermediate posts, and then the Excel color.
I'm reading into a parameter called Excel color because uh, in this case, if it's not going to be painted, the salesperson, whoever's filling out the form, is going to put in none. So I'm going to use a simple if-then statement here. If Excel color equals none, then color is going to equal no paint. Else, color will equal Excel color. All right, let's go ahead and see this in action then. So it's going to run the rule by default uh, once I'm done. You can see it's already adjusting. And you can see I actually violated one of my error checking rules from earlier, so I'll go ahead and accept that. And there's the file uh, based off of what I changed. Let's go ahead and change that Excel file just for the sake of seeing something else change here. Save this, I'll close it, and I'll come back here and tell it to read the rule again, or run the rule, which will read the Excel file. You can see it made our changes. Thank you for watching this video regarding iLogic in Inventor, reading the Excel file. Please continue to look for other videos. There will be a related video for how to write an Excel file uh, also on this channel. Thank you. Have a good day.